Hello and welcome to the Stephen Tries Podcast Series 2, Episode 21. Hooray! Hooray. Oh, no. He said Olay. (laughs) (laughs) Olay! (laughs) (laughs) Congratulations from around the world. (laughs) For hitting 100,000 subscribers. Thank you, Mexican slash... Arabic, could be. Hooray, English, maybe. Spanish, yeah. Yeah. No. Get out, Tom. Please, can I stay? This is so early in the podcast. (laughs) (laughs) I had so much planned. (laughs) Uh, We've hit 100,000 subscribers. Last week we were on 99,000 mm. oh. and I spoke about how we're not going to do a 24 hour special. And then <laughs> we jumped 1,000 subscribers in a week, which was, you know, a month's work basically. Yeah. And I thought, oh, we can't post that because, you know, it's going to look like we've hit the target. And then I've just gone, nope. Uh, so now to clarify, when we said about the 24 hour special, I looked at the stats and no one subscribed. So I thought, oh, no one wants it. Also, that's about 12 episodes worth of uh, yeah. content. Yeah. Um, we're on death's door as it is if we do that there's no more podcast yeah that's it basically uh, so you know thank you very much we, we will do a special though I uh, suggested what we should do a lot of people said drink um, so a drinking podcast Max Topless was another thing I forgot to introduce you I'm joined by Cameron Green hello everyone I'm applauding myself Max Smith hello there and and Tom Looney. <clears throat> yeah, Looney. thanks. Looney. Thanks for the introduction, Looney. Stephen. Great to be here. What, what are you drinking there, Looney? Uh, this is some active uh, active pH water. Looney! Uh, Looney. <laughs> alkaline ionised. Just that, rain it in, yeah? Out of the stomach. You've got a death wish. <laughs> and over in the corner is our stupid little friend, <laughs> Joe McGrath. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing you questioned. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at your hair yeah. <laughs> and your penis, your dirty penis. <laughs> Get oh, out, mate. <laughs> you know, I literally can't. Uh, <laughs> can't, mate. Do you want to come over, dead quick, and we'll get your stuff out of the way? Do you want it out of the way? Yeah. Just come on over. Yeah, okay. <laughs> then you can leave us. Here you go, then. Bring the cake. Yeah. Oh, he's got oh, a cake. Damn. He's getting a... He's getting his cake. Nice cake. He's getting less little. vegan. No, it's... No. Looks store-bought, that's not vegan, yeah. Uh, the, the presentation is uh, horrendous, isn't it? Joe, why have you got us a cake? Because it was my birthday last week, and your birthday... There you go, your birthday, Oh, no, your it? birthday's coming up. I would I would much rather you eat this. Like eat the cake. No, no, eat the no, cake. No, no. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, the Lisa, it's not on camera. <laughs> it's not on camera. Can we have you in the corner of the shot, just Joe, working need... on that for the moment? No. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then we'll go for an up. We'll come to an update. Yeah, nice. update. Like, I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. Very nice. You wait till Miss Trunchable comes in in ten minutes. <laughs> Cuts an habit. Swings it by his hair. <laughs> Singular. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is also walking 100 <laughs> miles. Not to burn off the cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, can we have an incentive maybe for him to eat the cake well, during this podcast? No, no, no. He, 20 quid. Nature will take over. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Joe's walking 100 miles uh, for charity, for Parkinson's. Uh, so uh, there'll be a link to Joe's charity. You can go and donate. Good Do Joe's own charity. Joe Parkinson's his name. <laughs> he's running away with all the money. He's back on okay. <laughs> right, He's walking, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll never catch me. Oh. Well done, Joe. And happy yeah, birthday. Yeah, just, uh, I just don't want to dislodge any of the chocolate. It's not pH regulated either. <laughs> and if Joe, if you took a little German kid with you, he'd make millions. Honest to God. Oh, should we get on to that? Oh, well, let's uh, do this. So, uh, so, of course, the England-Germany game, there was a little German girl crying in the crowd with her father. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> save me! Save me! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's not on. It's, uh, no, do you know what? I, was, I wasn't even talking about the girl. I was talking about the football as it was going into the German girl. Oh, and you support Germany? Wow. Yeah. Oh, controversial. Yeah. Also, that podcast went out, and the amount of times we said 2 0, not we, I, I didn't say it at all, but the amount of times 2 0 came up. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, there was a joke, and you went, oh, 2 0, oh. but it wasn't to do with the England game. It just. It's amazing wow. how these things work out sometimes. Uh, so true. Yeah. I was really careful not to make any predictions because yeah. I was so panicked. Mm. I, I might like, lose worried. a tenner to Dave if uh, England make the final. I think there's a way out of that with Dave. Just yeah, deny just it ever happens. Something. You might be dead of gout by then. You never know. <laughs> this is a this one pound coin is worth ten 
There you go, Dave. <laughs> uh, but this girl, uh, she, yeah, she was crying. And usually the cameramen just uh, zoom in on uh, women with large breasts enjoying <clears throat> themselves at the game. But uh, this time we went for a little girl. Mm. Um, but then this uh, this English fan, I think, he set up a GoFundMe for the girl uh, to show oh, that the, yeah. the world's not so bad. But before that, it was uh, it, people were laughing at it. Yeah, which people, is kind people, of England fans were a bit weird. Which like, is, ah, have that drink in the tears. But you know what? They're always like, <laughs> you always see kids crying after like you know Do cup, you? Uh, cup finals weird. after your stand up shows. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's the reaction I want. <laughs> yeah, no, after like playoff games and cup finals, there's always people crying, and sometimes they are. You know, I don't think uh, young lads elicit the same reaction. I don't know why. Scott I think Lone Golden cried once. Yeah, yeah. It just wasn't a big Scott deal, was it? Today as well. No, uh, but you know, to be at that game, you have to have a lot of money. You have to be from a rich family. That. Yeah, maybe, was, maybe. Was it in Germany? They're, they're hun- it's at least like. Hundreds Probably. of pounds. Was it yeah. in Germany? No, it's in uh, Wembley. Wembley. So they would have flown over. Presumably. Maybe they might. They may be. They might be living English. in Britain. Yeah. Yeah. I think some people drew attention to it, which and then some people were like, oh, you can't do that. She's a little girl, which was absolutely it's not an issue. But then some people took it too far to be like, well, fuck off. Uh, and they always, you know, I don't know, just to prove that it's a joke and it's fine. Mm. And then, well, are people calling her like a Nazi and like a little? You know, horrible mm. thing. But I don't think they would have done that if everyone was like, "Oh, you can't joke about that because she's a little girl." I mean, you can joke about anything. It's yeah. Just- I mean, the atmosphere in the pub when it came on was electric. The, <laughs> the reaction was bigger than the goals it was like when the German kid came on. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But everyone was like, "Way!" Proper going yeah. for it when you saw it. You never know. They might have been the same if it was the other way around. Anyway, twenty-five thousand was raised for yeah. this girl. Yeah. Um, but then people have looked into the guy who tweeted it because uh, it was. It seemed weird at the time. Yeah. Uh, and I don't want to libel him. The, the phrase "the younger the better" apparently was tweeted off his account, and people have gone through other tweets, and it does seem a bit dodgy. But then other people have created like fake things of him to really try and incriminate him. Yeah, it's just a mess, isn't it? I just don't think twenty five thousand should go no. to a girl who's gone to a football game no. and cried. No. no, I mean that's life. Your yeah. team loses. Exactly, yeah, that's what people. Say. Things are like, yeah. internet age now. Nothing can just happen. You can't just have a moment. It has to be, t- you know. Yeah, it has like, to be turned into something huge. The Scottish, the Scottish guy who was dancing the other week, doing some sort of fist bump yeah. move. Mm. He got slagged off, and then he's on the lab bible. Just let things happen. Not everyone needs a fucking interview. <laughs> if there's going to be money raised for anyone, surely it's got to be the woman <laughs> who had a bogey wiped on her head by that fella at Goodison Park. Years ago, yeah. seen that. Yeah. How is your dad? <laughs> hey, <laughs> he had clean nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember the lads from that meme that were outside? You know, they're, they're kind of the, the shandy boys kind yeah. of thing, and they and they're on like this. They're on the morning shows they doing got brand deals from that. Oh, it's oh, incredible. Yeah. <laughs> if it had to be Stormzy came out <laughs> yeah. these days. Yeah. It would have been, yeah, boohoo.com, all that shit. Oh, if that girl doesn't fame. get a brand deal with boohoo.com, <laughs> then the world's gone fucking mad. That's true enough. Gone mad. <laughs> They've dropped the ball. Oh, oh dear me. Uh, speaking of uh, teams losing, we started our five-a-side team. Ah, oh, too soon, Stephen. We played against a team which we were told lost 10-0 the previous week. Turns out they'd won, uh, so our hopes were dashed. Uh, me and oh, Joe went in down. goal. I passed back to Joe and it went in the corner. Oh, yeah. It was an own goal. I also scored one at the other end, so you yeah. know. Did you not see one of both when ends? <laughs> one of the players was getting really aggy, and I forget who he was like raking at the shins of one of our lads, and then I've got stud marks on my leg. We hear someone says to the ref, like, "Ref, look at this," and the ref turns around just in time to see their player giving the wanker symbol <laughs> to our lad, <laughs> and just me. goes like, "Is it you?" <laughs> and then he just goes like, ah. the ref just there. laughs. Let's it go. Still remnants nice. of the studs. It's just a fire, really, wasn't it? It's just it not as fun as. When we play, but also the levels harder, and we just need to get fitter. Just watch well, this space. It's the I, only way to improve in it are going through the harder games and getting results out of them. Well, I uh, I held my <clears> breath <throat> before COVID, just something to do, and uh, <laughs> and it I lasted for ninety seconds. And I tried it the other day, and it was sixty. Oh, oh God. no, maybe it's psychological. Mm-hmm. No, it's just uh, COVID. <laughs> Cameron, you're not teaching anymore. I'm a bollocks. No. <laughs> Can we talk about that? <laughs> it's up to you. I think it makes you look like a hero, personally. Didn't realise you were teaching. No, I was. I was going to go into it, but it it came to the point where the so, sorry. Have you not seen Obscene Green? Not been there. Is I've been lucky enough yet. That's the halfway point of the podcast. <laughs> I can feel the subscribers leaving. Uh, they, they they said um, there's there's a conflict of interest between this online persona and the persona I'd need to teach. So in the future, if um, 
in whatever way my life develops, that, that separation can be made, then teaching becomes an option. Yeah. It basically became the choice between, at the moment, sticking with doing the podcast and being a part of all this or doing teaching. So I decided that this is what, you know, <laughs> what I'll be going for. Well, there you go. You're all welcome, everyone. That's a, it's a difficult situation to be put in there. Yeah. yeah. It, How it old was, are the kids? Like, It'll be year seven. They're not there for your stand-up show, Tom. Stephen. But uh, yeah, t- I asked her. Uh, they have space for flyers. <laughs> <laughs> we we explored different routes of uh, whether it was feasible, and it just became, you know, I suppose unethical in a way to to carry on doing this and do the teaching. So the decision was made, and I'm happy with the way it's all turned out. What what I uh, what I liked was when you told me you sent the head teacher two videos <laughs> yeah well i had to send videos in so i just thought let's let's just get it let's just get the worst ones fired <laughs> off and let's just give them this baptism of fire just a shotgun of content and <laughs> see, see if my future survives <laughs> and uh yeah it was just it must have just been like terminator when they whip out the oh. road there's like the roses and then underneath <laughs> the roses that's the email starts it's like hi there <laughs> <Just> <laughs> watch this <laughs> and it was uh just the og big jake stuff and firing fire Fireworks at our Max's boom, which was you oh, know yeah. camera trickery. Unfortunately, that um, it was it became clear that there was that conflict of interest, as I said. So that's where we're up to. All I'd say is you're better than teaching, to be honest. Yeah. Did oh, you did you agree with the decision? Okay, yeah, I think okay. ethically, there would if I had to give this up, uh, I made it clear that I wouldn't be able to invest myself 100% fully into teaching. So it wouldn't be fair on the kids. I see. So uh, it's about the kids at the end of the day. It is. It is. Yeah. They are our future content, future, so. really. Yeah, I, say, I don't care about the kids. I, I went to uh, to London on Saturday to do the kickoff and watch the England game. Oh, cool. <laughs> Didn't get COVID this time. I think. Hey. Um, nice. But it's weird. England played well. Played exciting football, uh, which well. is all I've ever wanted. Mm. You know, uh, I'm not a big England fan at all, so I still can't get up and celebrate because uh, morally, I've said I don't care. I yeah. have to stand by that. What I find when England score, the same emotion is when Roger he- Roger Federer hits like a nice backhand winner. It's like, oh, Ooh, yeah. yeah. That's fun. Okay. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> about as much joy as I get from it. A Swiss exactly. guy. Oh, not you any Swiss guy. You get carried away by the nationalism. Like, you turn on the news and there's a guy. <laughs> you shouldn't get carried away by nationalism. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's this seat. It's was the it, day of seat. Was it, yeah. was it Big Jake or was it the, uh, the tattoos on your... <laughs> this is actually I'll, I'll Winston teach them history. <laughs> I'll teach them the real history. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for the best. Day. Field trip protecting statues. <laughs> Yeah, put these handcuffs on, kids. Whoa. Whoa. Like, whoa. whoa. Why? No, to form oh, a boy. ring around the statue. Oh, <laughs> Why are these fairies here? <laughs> I've got my favourite prince coming round soon. What? Andrew. Oh, yeah. Should have joined the dots a bit quicker. Yeah. Left too much for the mind to uh, make. Yeah, I thought you meant like prince, like you'd had something printed out. I, th- I was we going to be talking about nationalism. Some imagery. We were some talking about nationalism, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I thought, some yeah, disturbing I thought imagery. Brain. I, I went to Purple Rain. I went to yeah. Purple Rain. I imagine we turn up for the field trip and there's, hey guys, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't make Nationalism. <laughs> and it, I was, uh, so I was there in London, had a great time. Uh, and then saw some, saw some YouTubers. Um, Chris MD was one of them. I'm um, sorry, Max, but I really enjoy Chris MD and his oh, company, mate. Do what you like? Not his literal company. Uh, they don't yeah. pay tax. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, just a treat to see that young boy. Mm. He wants to do a video with me soon. Shock. Uh, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's one that, uh, you know, could go well. It could be a complete disaster. So look out for that, guys. Uh, and also watch the, the Bake Off, because uh, that's come out. Are you, Third on trending. You're watching the Bake Off, yeah? Yeah. No, we did the Bake Off. We did the Bake Off. Me and Max versus Ollie Ball and Jacob, it was TikTok people. Sorry, I didn't know. I was very concerned with Ormrod's face when you whipped Max on the chair. Oh, I sent that. Yeah, awful that, isn't it? Oh, God, he's really getting off to that. Really getting off to it. Have you seen it yet? Biting his lip or something. Close, very close. Yeah. 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 You can see his pants getting shorter by the inch. (laughs) He's an odd follower, James. He is odd. (laughs) Yeah, but he's grown on me. He's grown on me. Like a hemorrhoid. No, 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 like an erection. Oh, very good. <laughs> uh, Tom, what have you been up to? I have been uh, using my downtime to have some days out. Went Where to? to? Uh, went to Wales yesterday. Beautiful part. Oh, fuck. You haven't heard it yet because it's not come out. Go on. 
uh, IMAX last week just really went hard at you. Really? Mm. Not in the James Ormrod way. Um, <laughs> but in sort of like a com- Can, can someone know, tell me what way. happened a little bit? Uh, <laughs> it's very briefly. <laughs> it's just to do with you stinking as shit. Basically. Right. Oh. Okay. okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can live with that. Uh, <laughs> we have to. <laughs> I, I can't smell or taste. It's evident to wipe your bum again. <laughs> Nasty piece of work this week, mate. Nasty piece. This hairstyle has changed you. <laughs> this guy telling me I stink. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> It's, it's so cheap. You can buy a laugh with a poo joke every time. I can't help myself. And it's got to a place now where there's nothing I can do about it. Well, we'll see. Um, yeah, Wales was nice. Went to a little village uh, that was like kind of an Italian village on the coast. Uh, it's like you, it's a tourist attraction. So it's all built in the style of an Italian village. Really nice uh, oh, yeah. from the pictures. But they got there and they don't allow dogs in. So uh, we couldn't go. So you had to leave then. Uh, <laughs> No, we did because we had a dog with us. It wasn't. That's what I meant. Yeah. I made. I'm a dog now. No, I meant you had a dog with you. Let's right, move on. Okay. Good. Ooh. Hundred hundred nice. K subscribers, <laughs> and this is what you've nice. become, mate. Believe it or not, it's now time for Max's Euro Roundup. Don't believe it. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's the final question. <laughs> <laughs> I just say when I was doing this, it was it was pretty smooth. Yeah. Uh, <clears> because <throat> my headphones are not talking right. But honestly, there's there's no excuses, mate. Max's Euro round. Take it away, Smith. What up, guys? Really exciting news about England. It's coming home, baby. Well, by the time this is out, the tournament's over. Oh, oh yeah. God. Do you want to make uh, your prediction? Yet? Prediction. Well, you know, actually, because you um, went last time. We will lose. Oh, you in the, In the semi final no. or the final? In the semi final. To Denmark? To Denmark. What score? Uh, it will be 2 1. <sighs> Denmark. Um, Shabby Alonso will have kicked the ball. Uh, yeah, two one to Denmark. Yeah, um, and then I think Denmark will go on to win. Wow! You've been, you've been watching a bit of Denmark this tournament? Not at all. Oh, um, okay. Refuse to. The only team I watch is uh, England. Come on, bring it home. You've sort of you've, said to the country, yeah. said they bring won't. yourselves home after a shocking defeat. <laughs> two one to Denmark. No room on the plane for any of you. Gotta get taxis. <laughs> <laughs> Max stood on the bank. No. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. It's sad. I'm sad to say that's what's going to happen. Max's Euro round. In the, in other news, <laughs> Shikari Richardson. Uh, <clears throat> she's the American sprinter, 21 years old. He's been banned from the Olympics uh, for testing positively for marijuana. What'd you make of that? I, um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> she was uh, she was like well regarded. Looked yeah. like she could medal. <clears throat> where um, where she lived then? Because in some states America. it's all legal. It's, it's, isn't it? it's legal in her. It's on the uh, oh. list though of in, banned substances. So she should have known better. Yes, yeah, should have known. Well, rules are rules. But it's not they? a performance announcer. Yeah, it mellows you out. Marijuana doesn't it improve your performance? You could argue that having, you know, being more relaxed before. But it's not before a race, is. is it? I don't think. I don't think that's going to affect her in August, September when she's yeah. in Tokyo. Oh God, it's still ages away, is it? Yeah. Well, they put they put them they put them kind of substances though, just because they're kind of socially frowned upon on the list anyway. Uh, which I think is the bigger question. In that, you know, who gives a shit? It's probably uh, just leaving money it. involved in this. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Shame. It is a shame, isn't it? I mean, just yeah. smoking some plants. The Olympics is Rear. four years away. Ruined. So the next one should be 25. She might win then. Yeah, uh, hopefully, yeah. but. She might roll a uh, fat doobie. Yeah. Our life might spiral now. That's yeah, what course, can happen yeah. if you yeah. smoke too might, much. It might hit marijuana even more now. Yeah, maybe. So it's a gateway drug. She'll get even more banned. Tom Holland and Zendaya are a couple. Uh, now, I bring this up because they've only just sort of announced it, but Cameron, you told me months ago mm. that this was a thing. Pray tell, sir. <laughs> oh, well. A, a bit, friend? A bit like Richard Arnold on uh, Gen well, TV. Uh, <laughs> Tom Holland and who? Zendaya. She's a, an actress, I name, a singer. I name no names to protect my sources. Yeah. But <laughs> a friend, a very good friend of mine, has a friend whose best friend is Tom Holland, right? Named a name. Well, uh, all right, we know it's about Tom Holland. No. Right, and Tom <laughs> Holland and Zendaya were a thing. And apparently, when they met her, he was like, oh, I am Tom Holland's best mate. They've been mates for years and years and years, you know what I mean? And then, instead of being like, oh, yeah, nice to meet her, because they were a couple of she was just like, 
all right, cheers. And they just carried on looking at her phone and all this. But they were a couple back then and apparently back on now. I wow. thought it was pretty common the story knowledge. Is that she's they a bit were rude. A bit rude. I don't know. They've rude. never announced oh. it or made it public. So, you know, you gave me the hot scoop back yeah. in uh, yeah. February, March. March. Yeah. That's what journalists do. That's it, they yeah. do, yeah. Yeah, well done. Not mm-hmm. teachers. Mm-hmm. Got any other hop, sc- hop scoops? Hot scoops. Hop scoops. Cam's hop scoop. <laughs> Cam's hot scoop. I love a hop scoop. Uh, I thought he was on my hot scoops. That's why Devon changes on this. <laughs> hey! <laughs> scoop that shit out of your pants. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could we just clip just that bit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you to our sponsor, <laughs> the, the new JML shit scoop. <laughs> I've been using it for years. <laughs> like <a pooper> scoop. <laughs> Long car journeys used to be a real struggle. <laughs> Not now with me shit scoop. Hey, shut up. <laughs> you fucking kidding? Uh, no, no, genuine <laughs> source. <laughs> uh, it's now time for reliable source. Um, this week we can all enjoy it because <clears throat> has, uh, got a ban. Max, you can speak this time. Just one word though. The source is pesto. Italian. Yeah. Useful. Delicious. Joe. Rich. Yeah. Okay. Well done, guys. You see, it's episode 21 and we're still coming out with you know, great sources. <laughs> yeah. Just makes you think. You're my best source for uh, Tom Holland news. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey. That's right, yeah. Anyway, time to slag off a podcast. Ooh, we're, we're actually doing okay in the uh, the charts. Top 30, baby. We're above Ricky Gervais XFM. Yeah. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Those, yeah. those impersonators have finally, <laughs> finally fallen away. Well done, us. Well done, us. This week, we're <laughs> slagging off the all-new Phone Jacker podcast. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Is it called the all-new Phone Jacker? Yeah, podcast. Wow. Oh. I told you the title. Um, all-new implies something went wrong with the last one, I Can't imagine. They? Um, also, if you were to listen to it in 10 years, yeah. it would still be called the All New Phone Jacker Podcast. It's, although it's new to them. But it's not all new. Ow, bit my lip. Um, I also think, you know, what are you doing jacking off a phone? Mm. Yeah, yeah, man. That's a crime. It's not on. Is it? I had to phone somebody up and jack off. Mm. Is that actually is that a crime? It'd have to. I sh- I Joey, have, you look that up, please. I Check your that's emails. A crime. Wow. Pe- people have been cancelled. <laughs> we're going to have Scooby Lucky Bum back any minute. I can see that. <laughs> great character, great guy. Um, has to be a crime. Jacking Phoning off. people up and just masturbating. Yeah, it has to be a crime. Not on FaceTime. Yeah, crime. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Stephen Trice podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have time to Google that? Or is that just... Open it's, it's just I've been burnt before. <laughs> so I just called me mum, right? <laughs> oh, I thought your cock was... <laughs> I'm also getting adverts for something where you can charge your phone whilst wanking. Oh God! Mm. Uh, anyway, the all new phone jacket podcast. Prank calls aren't funny, guys. We proved that on the second channel. <laughs> we move on to a wacky segment called Headline News. If you Can tell me the location, then be- Quite surprised, to be honest. I've still never got one of these right. Headline news. Fuck off. <sighs> Revenge, madness, and a man-made tank. How one man's trauma wrecked a small town. <sighs> Russia. Revenge, madness, and a man-made tank. Yeah, a one man's uh, trauma destroyed a small town. Fucking old man Looney over here. He's just, oh, just like you there. Russia. It was a long sentence. Maybe he got a long sentence for this. Yeah. Hey, Bosnia, like M- Mongolia, uh, uh, America. Ah, oh, for God's sake! Oh. It's one of my favourite news stories of all time. It's the story of the Killdozer. This guy called Martin basically had a garage. Mm. Uh, and a Martin con- Kemp from yeah, sure, we'll Spandau go that. Ballet. Yeah. So, so far, Gold. this could be me dad. I wonder how much time he's been spending in the garden. <laughs> so he has a garage business. Prescott's had his day. <laughs> don't talk over a fucking... No, 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 no. Talk um, over mine now, don't you? Please don't swear, Max. Sorry. This guy called Martin has a garage business, and a concrete business buys all the land around his garage. Okay. Even the road leading to the garage, That's not so fair. nobody can come in or out. Obviously, he can't do any business. No. So he goes to the mayor and says, what the fuck? Uh, can you please sort this out? And they're like, no. 
It's, you know, it's all legal. Seeing so, as you ask so politely. <laughs> he goes to journalists, he goes to judges, and all these people say, we can't help you. So, you know, you've got six months, and then, you know, you're screwed. So in those six months, he builds a tank from a uh, bulldozer. So he puts tons of concrete on it, puts rifles. Uh, he's got a life support system inside, webcams on the outside so we can see out of it because the whole thing's just blocked with concrete. Um, and he drives this thing out of the garage through the concrete uh, factory, destroying that. He goes to the judge's house. Sorry, did he... Did he uh, get the concrete on his vehicle from the concrete factory? Yeah, I don't know, but that would be very sort of... Uh, yeah, poetic. Ironic, poetic, yeah. 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 God. Um, he destroys the judge's house. He just uh, destroys the journalist's house, who he went to for help. He destroyed everyone's ho- houses and buildings and businesses that he asked for help and said no to him. And then he went through a hardware store, and sadly the uh, basement of the hardware store trapped one of the... Uh, Caterpillar tracks of the bulldozer stopping him. Um, Sadly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, this man's a hero. Yeah. You know, he's going against the people that, you know, screwed him over, basically. Okay. But the army were called in. They shot it with rockets, had what? other tanks and stuff um, shooting at him. Nothing stopped him apart from this basement. And then he uh, ultimately killed himself. Wow. But no one died. No on one died. Cam. Not on web. He had webcams on the outside of the, uh, the, the thing. It took them twelve hours to cut through the concrete to find him. Good job it was in a hardware store. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> this is going to be like when Netflix gets like Bob the Builder and makes it fucking metal. Oh, I'd love. I'd, oh, I'd love to watch that. What's his mate called? The thing with the thing dizzy. Looking dizzy. Dizzy. <laughs> dizzy. Yes. <laughs> dizzy with her a cake. <laughs> <laughs> so mad to see it though. They shouldn't have sold that road. That's outrageous uh, from the uh, the mayor's office. A man can only be pushed too far. That's poor, it, yeah. Poor city planning. This week's talking point is uh, it's going to be bloody random as well. You know, it's just what we do. <laughs> bloody bonkers, bloody random. <laughs> oh, God. I just read the first bit. Okay. Is dancing erotically with another person while you're in a relationship considered cheating oh, I just don't care what's, uh, what's considered erotic <laughs> dance in there was it grinding on each other yeah. it would have to be <laughs> that's all, it's, all, it's all you know just dry on anymore I'd say it is yeah. is, is salsa erotic dancing yeah no, if, <laughs> would you say yes so quickly? Yeah. If, if you have to go to <laughs> like uh, an instructor, you know, they're teaching you a foxtrot or something, just something that people... The tango. For, for yeah. eons, the tango, yeah, that's fine. You know, it's a bit saucy, but it's not like... Salsa you, is saucy. Erotic dancing, I suppose, would be you, you, yeah. you're actively trying to entice someone through your dancing, so... You I've know. seen you in Imperial. Is right, lad. Um, so is everybody, if they're looking on Facebook from six years ago. <laughs> uh, I think the... Dancing in general, you look at Strictly Come Dancing, the amount of times that there's affairs, loads of people uh, get together. It's just that, maybe it's the closest, maybe that's yeah, just their the week and week out yeah. rehearsals, actually. But to be f- I would say, if you walked into a, a club... <laughs> like, what up, I got a big cock. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then you saw your significant other just, yeah. just, just grinding dan- against somebody Just dancing else. in the cloakroom. <laughs> Do you feel that happened to you in a Chinese buffet the other day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You want my pork balls? <laughs> it's what happened to me when I was in Imperial dressed as Spider-Man. Let Zendaya come in and I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll shoot off with Tom Holland. Ooh. Yeah, if it's erotic dancing. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. Not I mean, if you're going out with someone who is a dancer uh, and, you know... D- is this what you tell your partner? <laughs> <laughs> you signed the This contract. is what you signed up to. <laughs> Louis Spence. <laughs> I don't know what I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> Just Louis Spence. Louis Spence. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that, that, uh, that Apple Dance Studios? You, you do the rest. <laughs> You're filling the blanks. Uh, pa- Loving enough. Yeah, uh, Patrick Swayze. <laughs> what have you? Uh, he gets around off the back of this podcast, Louis Spencer. He was in the Somme two weeks ago, wasn't he? <laughs> but he trenches. I think, I think dancing, dancing with other people yeah. is is fine. Yeah. yeah. It's when, uh, yeah. Anything erotic. Any sort of wild hip thrusts, yeah, yeah. general yeah, yeah. hip movement. Yeah. You know when it's a bit dodgy, you know, just if, use your head. If you wouldn't like your partner doing it with someone else, don't yeah. do it with yeah. someone else. What was that noise? That, that was erotic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Go on, Tom. Should your partner be allowed to go through your phone? Ooh. No fucking way. It's outrageous. I let my I let my girlfriend go through my phone. I let her go on my phone, but she doesn't she doesn't go through it. Going through yeah. it. Yeah. I that's... remember I remember Zoe once said it's only ever gonna cause more problems if you go through someone's phone because you you look at searches yeah. or whatever. If you left it unattended and Zoe was on it, do you think she'd be tempted if you weren't there? No. No. Well, that's, that's the, shit. It's the trust then, is you it? You see it's me fine. around women. <laughs> <laughs> I go in there, I sell some. <laughs> My nanny taught me to ballroom dance. <laughs> <laughs> and her name was Louise Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have, I've no issue with yeah. her mm. on my phone. It's just... But if she went through my phone and I didn't know, yeah. then it's like, well, it's, why don't you trust me? It's the phrase going through. Yeah. Like that's you're me checking, advice. aren't you? You're keeping yeah, tabs. That's, yeah. That's like... You shouldn't have to. No. Uh, you should just, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad he said phone. So should your partner be able to go through? And I'm like, <laughs> 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 through it what, baby? What you're right, you, the, Cameron. The, I think there's a... There's a and you know the the factor of trust is is yeah. massive if you're building a relationship. I've always thought you shouldn't be able to go through someone's phone, but in previous relationships where there wasn't as much trust, I'd have had a problem with them on my phone anyway. Now, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Is that with the messages uh, we send? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I've got no interest in Devon's phone. Technology don't yeah. bother me. <laughs> <laughs> What is phone? <laughs> Couldn't could get into it if I wanted to. Hold it, hold it up for two rare. Dirty pig. Dirty pig. Don't look at my smoke signals. They're mine. Mine alone. Yes, I know what fire is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, what's what's that tapping on the wall? <laughs> you got dirty to me. <laughs> 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 right, go on, Max. Thank you, sir. Go on, Max. Oh, <laughs> magic fingers. <laughs> Struggling now, mate. <laughs> His grip is too strong. <laughs> Where do you want your next vacation to be? Oh, oh. go on, Max. Start us off. Uh, are we talking? Uh, is it is it paid for? Oh, no, it's just your next question, vacation. Jesus Christ. Why is it, why is it, it going to be money? free? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, yeah, because if it's not free, the then vouchers. the next. <laughs> Well, if money's an issue, then I'd say, oh, I don't, don't want to pay for it. Down the road to the beach. <laughs> the down the road to the beach. I don't have money. I, I don't Trust me, baggage allowance. <laughs> if, 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 if money wasn't an issue, I'd say, I don't know, maybe like uh, one of the most expensive hotels. That's why I'd like it to be. Oh, for God's sake, Max. You've ruined this. Stop getting all, I don't know, just. Uh, what? Look. Oh, fucking no reasonable. One's gonna pay, no one's going to pay for your vacation. It's not going to be, you're not going to the Maldives on a, you know, fucking. Yeah, but you've got to be reasonable. Okay, uh, Blackpool. Like yeah, but Max, reach. you've also a guy that you know you're earning money you're an adult now you can go and do things that you want to do where do you want to go I know of a lovely hostel in Grasmere there we go <laughs> you can't have his <laughs> you hate the countryside I, I always <laughs> go to the hostel <laughs> have they coming since I was a wee <laughs> <laughs> Louis 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 Spence. Spence. <laughs> Lil Wien Lil Wien's baby in Newcastle East or whatever um, where would I like to go uh, uh, Tokyo there we go oh, cool. why what are you going to do there just see the sights, eat the food. Yeah. What, what you're going to pay for it. <laughs> there you go, no. Um, what <laughs> sites? Uh, I don't know. Just, you know, sort of just <laughs> see what's going on. What is it about Tokyo that goes, oh, yeah, I want to go there? Just sort of like the neon <laughs> the neon signs and yeah. just sort of just the that general... energy, yeah. yeah. Okay. It just seems cool. Yeah. Is, it, is it somewhere that your girlfriend wants to go as well? Yeah. Yeah? So there you go. Is it... Um, Oh, I'd also like to go to the Super Mario Nintendo World that they've just bought out. That That'd be, be cool. cool. Yeah. Is that like a theme park? Yeah, it is, yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Tom? Oh, I was too busy uh, getting angry at him. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> uh, you never thinking, are you? Cam, could you, if you could, <laughs> you I mean, you could have started with Japan, couldn't you? There's a perfectly reasonable answer. Cam? I'd probably go Benidorm. Be happy with Benidorm now, you know? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I get laughed at the room for Blackpool Pleasure Beach. You nah. Benidorm. Gets You've been to Blackpool nice and you were, you were laughing, we were laughing at how terrible it was. <laughs> nice hotels in Benidorm, get the right time of year, nice and hot. Yeah. Constant entertainment, you oh. got Madge on a mobility Sticky scooter, Vicky. Nipping round, he's right. Don't knock it till you tried it, pal. I've been. Oh, Sticky Vicky. Go. A man Sorry, of culture what? in the corner, Joe, he'll go. You, you know as you were going through that sentence, your, your argument <laughs> fell apart. <laughs> 
And man of you got your feet up on the furniture, you sloth. <laughs> you sloth. <laughs> 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 Calling him one of the seven deadly. <laughs> you got bloody gluttony you in got the corner over there. Bloody pride. <laughs> 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 so you go Benidorm yeah just off the top of my head if someone said you know five seconds pit where do you want to go just instantly think Benidorm have you, have you been before lots of pleasant memories from Benidorm yeah very nice going having a jacket potato with my granddad in the Union Jack <laughs> I'm sorry, Max, I shouldn't have come at you so hard. <laughs> simple pleasures. <laughs> Jackie <laughs> Potato with me, old man. Good go. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> had um, All the signs are in English. <laughs> they had England versus Jamaica on in there, and um, we were battering From seven years ago, but it was comfortable. <laughs> Jamaica <laughs> football, just in the <laughs> They had um, Jamaica scored, and then he went like... Way for Jamaica and everyone started giving us funny looks I'm like oh you've got to give them half a chance haven't you like all the Jamaican team are like Jimmy Green's on our back here boys we gotta turn it on now <laughs> it was a right laugh I'd, I'd happily go back I've always wanted to go back yeah are you are you not worried okay. that the memories that you've got are so be, good oh, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so you the just be sat there miserable time. it's not the it's, same. it's a bit dry <laughs> <laughs> now I think I did have food poisoning for three days <laughs> from a jacket really no, I think oh. I think it was the um, the buffets they'd have. Yeah, you know what I mean. Go watch out for those buffets, man. That's yeah. right. It's very uh, dangerous. Well. Stephen, where would you go? Um, I'm similar to Cameron. If I've been to a place, yeah. I'd like to go twice. Mm. So maybe prison. Maybe Amsterdam. <laughs> no, that's not Amsterdam. <laughs> Italy, Italy. I want okay. to go to. Yeah. Uh, maybe somewhere on the coast instead of Rome because uh, it's too busy. You might as well yeah. just go Wales. <laughs> yeah, in a way. Uh, yeah, that's not much happening in Wales. No, that's true enough. Um, so I, as well. I'd go to, yeah, maybe the Amalfi Coast. Or maybe I'm too young oh, for that. Beautiful. No, I'm never too young. Is that Sis? No, not Sicily. What's that? Sorrento? Is that yeah. the lemon trees? Yeah, that's the one. No idea. It's not like you can just pick a lemon off the tree and give it a quick suck, can you? You can. Oh, it's not a jacket, but yeah. You can't. Yeah. You, you, you. <laughs> tree a jacket, potato. <laughs> Me and my granddad. <laughs> Come on, England are kicking off in five minutes. <laughs> you fucking starving. <laughs> what about you, Tom? Uh, but like, uh, do you know what? Yeah, there's loads I want to see, I want to discover, but to go for somewhere that I've been before after the year it's been, a couple of years, I've got Slovenia. Oh, um, the mountains, the lakes, very pretty, yeah. very nice. Never thought about it. One Slovenia as a destination. Um, little twist on the podcast. <laughs> we now have 24 hours to race to our destination. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Max hasn't made it to Blackpool. <laughs> 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 no one can get a hold of him. <laughs> it's a dream, eh? We move on to Stephen Lies. Ooh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, fuck off, Joe. Stephen lies. Stephen sweet little lies. Oh, yeah. He's proper fit and gives me a wide on. This week we have an object. There it is. Wow. Ooh. Don't even know how to describe that. Looks like the uh, the top of a warhead. It? Looks, it looks gold. Yeah. Almost. Mm, I'd say bronze. It looks bronze almost. Mm. Yeah, it looks Ooh, I like... I love what you're channeling here, man. It really yeah. looks like the top of a... a David a, Dickinson. A... Oh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Bargain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you get plenty of that in Benidorm. <laughs> Antiques chode show. Yeah. <laughs> You're on fire, right? Yeah. I've run out. <laughs> yeah, cool. Like yeah, that last one. This is nice. um, speaking of dick in sun, <laughs> let's uh, talk to Tom. Um, what, what's that to you? Family heirloom. Yeah? Uh, my granddad uh, fought in the war okay. for the Polish army during the Second World War when the Nazis invaded. Nice. Um, and this is um, something that he collected. This is the top of a, a bomb, the top of a German wow. bomb. Yeah, uh, this was uh, passed on to my uncle um, when he, when my granddad died. But I always, I always used to play with this at the house when I went round when I was young. Yeah. So uh, a few years ago, um, when he when he moved out and he found it, he gave it to me. Oh, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Stephen, what's uh, this to you? This is my great great granddad's very own butt plug. <laughs> 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 oh, this smell funny. Uh, this is just something that my mum's cousin gave to me. Okay. Gave me a selection of things, uh, like a 25th Jubilee coin. Okay. coin. But this is... From, Was it? Did he give it to you for any reason? Or uh, he's, he's collected antiques for years. In fact, that's his background, really. But yeah, he was getting rid of a load of stuff because he has it all in storage. 
so we gave him like a load of paintings. Yeah. Then I just got a few metal bits. Okay, fair. Uh, nice. But this is from 1892. Okay. But well, that's when it was made. And 1916, he said, was when it was from. So it was the First World War. Yeah, cool. Actually. And it's from the top of a projectile. So, do you know, like, do you know the Arsenal badge? <laughs> Uh, the you gunners. See the the, yeah. the cannon on that yeah, yeah, yeah. is from. It'd be used on one of those. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh, this was part of my dearly departed Auntie Nen's brass collection. She had a brass collection. Some may call it a brothel. <laughs> and, and it's the top of a warhead. We, we ship him. Hey. <laughs> mine. I'm telling a story. <laughs> I mean, horrible history that you made. You mine. <laughs> So um, it's actually where the fuse used to go in the top of yeah. Warhead. So when, if it worked correctly, then the fuse in her detonate and her trigger the explosives inside. Mm-hmm. It was part of the bombing campaign that happened mostly to Liverpool. There wasn't many bombs dropped on Prescott. Yeah. Apparently this one landed in Talbot Street and didn't explode because obviously it's still... Mm. Thingy. So some bright spark decided they were going to go and unscrew it off the top of a bomb. Yeah. And then after going to all that hardship, they realised, uh, well, they decided to himself that my auntie Nen was so nice and everyone had then collected brass, apparently. They decided to give it to her. So then she gave it to my nan. And due to my long-standing interest in all things historical, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was bequeathed to me. There we go, bequeathed. Nice. Yeah. Um, God, these are fun stories this week. It's all boring, isn't it? Unless you're telling it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! This, I got yeah, this from, from, a, from a room in Birmingham uh, in a hotel for one evening, and that was there. Yeah, yeah that's good. Uh, yeah, I that's took fun. it. I took it. No more information. Yeah. No more questions. I was in a car please. park playing manhunt. Yeah. Bought it in the shop. <laughs> oh, you got it at school. Ooh, the teacher gave it to me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's good. That, that's fun, that, Tom. Is that you? Yeah, that's real fun, that Tom. <laughs> is that sorry? Oh, that's what, a great fucking when, story. When, Tom. Did, I, when did I say? <laughs> it's probably one of these school stories. I've got. Oh no, I didn't do that. Actually, that's a lie. <laughs> I, I was I got this in the shop until they asked me to pay for it. I'm like, oh no, I'm going to pay for it. Give me it for free and send me to the Maldives. <laughs> oh, 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 what would you want the next holiday to be? Oh, well, I don't want to do, have one that costs too much. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't want to go on holidays where you have to pay a lot of money. But I don't want that. Um, Tom, uh, I, I don't think it's you. Why? Because I just don't. Okay. Cam, I think it's you. You think it's me? Well, to be fair, funnily enough, those kind of brass fuselages were used from the late 1800s. I so if that's that. what you're going off, then just giving you some context. My story does involve... Some fucking idiot going up to a fucking unexploded bomb and going. Fine, oh, I fine, like fine. I used to, I used to spin it around like Steven, that. Even I think it's you. I can tell you that is worth around ninety-five pounds. No, you told me that. Google. There you go, Kev. Thanks, Paul. It's really worth. It was me. Is it you? Yeah, it is. Yeah, me. I was right yeah. then. Yeah, yeah you're wrong. You're Sounds wrong. Like a... But if well, when I say when I say I think it's you, you meant to say yes. You are not meant to say you meant to ask questions, delve a bit deeper. I just go, okay. Give you. people a chance to, you know. I what, was, what, I was caught a bit cold. Oh, I wasn't. Tom, I didn't think could, I was going first. Me apart. You could go. Who, what's your mum's cousin called? What, what well, I didn't need to. I got it right. You didn't. You said it was me. No, I said it was Cam, and then Cam didn't answer. It's fair, but Cam went last, and he spoke at length. I was just given a really brief one because normally we ask questions. Um, Cam spoke at length, so he didn't need to ask him ask him questions. And silly whole, detective. It was just ruined a bit. It's really. also thrown him off. Yeah, I'm really bad at this. But anyway, yeah, it's one of my prized possessions. This. Yeah. Thought it was interesting. There you go. Um, now the clapping stops for oh. it is IMAX. <laughs> Fucking hell, I hate this segment. Yeah, I got a new job. Uh, Boring. That's good. Uh, yeah, got a new job. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Seems I was Is right. That it? <laughs> Seems okay, I was correct. Uh, so this week with IMAX... Um, you know, I decided that, you know, reviewing movies is good and all, but I can use that to reach... Love these adjectives. Audience. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so I thought I'd, I'd get a new job right. where I could sort of use my movie knowledge to help people out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the IMAX experience. Enjoy the show. 
Howdy, you nasty film freaks. This week I've been given the honour, nay the privilege, to work in the movie industry. IMAX is on its way up. Oh shit, here comes my new boss. Hi, I'm Brandy Little, and I'll be taking you through the Blockbuster Customer Service Program. Damn, B, I'm going to have to stop you right there. No one knows how to talk to people about movies like IMAX. Watch this. Excuse me. What do you know about this movie? Oh, that's a pile of shit. But you should know all about shit after wiping your fiancé's bum all the time. Aya. Damn, I'm good at this. Next. Oh, fucking hell. You returned your last tape late. What do you mean I returned my last video late? That was the day that ice storm came through. I couldn't even get out my driveway. Oh, wow, wow. Baby's got an excuse. Well, newsflash. You better start respecting our return dates. Because from the looks of that overbite, it's the only date you'll ever have, lol. That's how we do it. Next. My boyfriend's birthday's coming up, and he loves movies. No, he doesn't. He likes movies. Loving movies is sitting next to Tom Looney each week. Aya. Whilst the smell of shit fills the air because his girlfriend hasn't wiped his bum properly. And you try. So hard to show the world your great film reviews. Ugh. Next. God, I'm so annoyed. My film reviews are legendary and people love them. They're the best part of the Stephen Tries podcast, right, Ted? I wouldn't know. I haven't seen it. Damn, Ted. You are my ride or die. And now I'm hearing this pile of shit? This reminds me of... Aya! Hello? Anyway, next. Can I help you? Yeah, hi. Uh, my wife sent me in to, for a movie and I can't remember the name. Of your wife? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I can't remember her name. Oh, God. I was joking. Whoopsie. Yeah, that's her name. Whoopsie. Oh. Oh, no. She found me. Hey, I'm Whoopi Goldberg. No! Oh no, you shot my recorder. I'll never ever be able to make another IMAX. There you go. Um, sadly, my recorder was destroyed. Although I picked up the last, the last yeah. few minutes. Yeah, it's, it's on its last legs. Last legs. Uh, wow. Recorder's destroyed, so yeah. can't do IMAX ever again. Oh God. I mean, so we have some uh, psychics in the comments. Well done yeah. to you guys. So, sorry about that. There's going to be people out there sad, probably. But, um, uh, 12 months ago, maybe, but, uh, <laughs> you know, we've... People react in different ways, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah there you uh, go. 100k special, and IMAX is dead. Yeah. God. Decent week, all in all. Not bad. Yeah. Cheers. Maybe get a plaque for both. I, I or like a tombstone. Mm. Um, Thanks, guys. All I could say is, you know, ever since you won the vote, you uh, got carried away and forgot... Your true love of movies mm. descended into chaos. Uh, Cheers, that's just what I needed to hear. It's my obituary. Probably been allowed to go on too long. To be honest. Yeah, that one in particular. Yeah, just rehashing I'm all right here, guys. the jokes and you don't have to be. It's just tired, isn't it? The whole the whole concept is tired. You know. Joe, can you be quiet, please? Anyway, Cameron. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure at this moment you're thinking, "Hey, I've made the wrong decision. I should have been a teacher." <laughs> Well, hold on. Wait a minute, because you sacked. <laughs> I think I think there's a world where you can be a teacher. You what can you be on a podcast. Yeah. I actually got in touch with the head teacher from your school. He's here with us today. Oh, no, this will get me in serious. Yeah. Do. No, there's there's your Hello. boss. Man that was in charge of your future. Hello. Uh, it's me. Two can my can. Thank Hello, you for joining everyone. Us. Oh, hey. Third time's a charm, third time's a charm. Yeah, in a way. Remember me? <laughs> yeah. I've been away for a while, but I'm back again. Do you mean in jail? Yes. All right. No cans this week? No cans, no cans. I'm clean. <laughs> yeah, very clean. Yeah, clean. Yes, I've had a lot of showers. Clean. Uh, and I'm here to talk to you, Cam. Where's your, where's your two cans? Clean. I'm clean. I've just said this. Oh, but, right, okay. I've been away in prison. The only thing they had in there is toilet wine. <laughs> It's not when you sort of do the dance in the bathroom. <laughs> no, no, no. It's when you get through to put it. Anyway, I'm here to see you, Cam. I've yeah. got a question. Of course. Why 
Why wouldn't you let Cam do the <clears throat> podcast and be a teacher, yet you do both? Yeah. Well, you know... Amongst Cam- other things. <laughs> <laughs> Cam's been a naughty boy. Do you not hear his shanty in that boat talking about fucking... I'm really not sure no. there's going to be any serious legal remonstrations. No fucking allowed. But too, can you you came on the podcast and said <laughs> and admitted to offering blowjobs to yeah. students. But that's all right. Offering's fine. Doing it and saying things like sailors having sex. <laughs> that's a big no, no. Right. How are you meant to teach a class yeah. when all these kids know that sailors have sex? <laughs> and you've said it. You've taught it to them. Yeah. Mm, you know what I enough. said was want to blow your hand behind the back, sheds. So, do you believe there's a future where Cameron can teach at your school? Maybe not at my school. How come? Well, because you know we don't we don't allow things like that. Yeah. You know we 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 want people that you know talk about not yeah. having sex with sailors. <laughs> right. So I if don't it was like sailors having sex with Burton menswear staff. That'd yeah. be okay. Maybe that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> we all have Burton menswear staff. But you should. I, you know, it's not my area, but you should have made that clear to Cameron. Mm. Did I not say this? Give I said only have yeah. sex with teachers. There was some mention of not... Good rule that you should maybe abide by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's okay. Are you okay? You're crying because you can't be teacher. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Quite quite harsh, aren't you, no, well, there's, there's other There's other schools out there. There's other things you can teach. You don't not have to now. teach kids either. You know what? I wouldn't be doing my due diligence if I didn't raise... Oh, God. A question. Here we go. It's probably another picture. Toucan, can you explain <laughs> today's today's uh, <laughs> Daily Mirror? Let's have a look. Front page. Let's no, have a look. Because no, you'll probably rip it, won't you, Toucan? Uh, the headline is Meddling McCann. <laughs> it says... It's just, it says a strange grandfather ringleader in Portuguese investigation cover up. Tukan McCann believed to be involved in hundreds of underworld crimes dating back to nineteen eighty five. It also says head headmaster on the register. <laughs> That's funny that. It's the photocopy we got of uh, <laughs> today's date as well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Care to explain it? Let's <coughs> have a look. No, no, no I don't me, I'm not going to rip. I'm not going to rip. I don't trust you at all. For can we, can we show the? Uh, are we going to? It'll be on screen, be on now, screen. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> Why are you sweating? <laughs> I'm not sweating. I don't sweat. <laughs> Famously so. <laughs> Some advice for two can at the top here as well. This should have been taken into account. Go on. Pull out inside. <laughs> You get it? That's, that's handy. When we say meddling, we definitely mean interfering and nothing to do with actual medals. <laughs> yeah, just in case you were there. <laughs> <laughs> going to the, the Daily Mirror. Just to make it clear, this man is not a hero. <laughs> yeah, yeah so maybe. Uh, <laughs> I've been in prison for a while, but a lot of this stuff happened a long time ago in a different country. But it's, it's crazy that you're a free man at the moment, given, you know, yeah. all these crimes and you've not been jailed properly for them. Well, you know, it's uh, what's what's that word when you can't get put in prison for something happened years ago? It's beyond the statute, the statute of limitations. limitations. That's the one, statute of limitations. <laughs> and that's one statute that's not going to be taken down. What do you think uh, the school board are going to say if they see this? I am the school board. No, you're not. You're I am. Master. I've got full power over my school. It sort of feels like your Denzel Washington's character in Training Day. It's yeah. even more of a slap in the face from here. Really. Cam, you it could is. probably use this. Yeah. You want to uh, join me? This is go through the history of his not life. Not particularly. That's what you I want to You could pull see. out inside, apparently. Go back to 1985. <laughs> no, thank you. You could tell the kids all about their <laughs> dirty, dis- dirty I'll headmaster. I'll myself <laughs> from this <laughs> whole affair, if that's all right. <laughs> you, you love history, don't you? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I can teach you a thing or two about 1985. Nothing off the top of your head now. <laughs> no, no. The only thing coming off the top of his head is a fucking wig. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> You're fooling no one meddling. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> don't do that, you could. <laughs> you know, I'm going back to Nigeria. <laughs> oh, is God. that Nigeria? Oh, so it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah my favourite football team. Uh, <laughs> be winning the Auras next. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dream, eh? Oh, Jesus. Right, bye. Thanks for, dro- <laughs> thanks for dropping by. Get out, Sukan. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't look all anything the wacky, like me. All the wacky faces. <laughs> oh, no! It's, it's, it's not you, it's Toucan McCann. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Joe was saying something earlier. It's Medlin McCann, actually. Uh, nicknamed. Oh, brilliant. Only 12p. You dried your tears, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. It's, it's sad that IMAX is dead, but you know... Uh, Everything has to die sometimes. One grave closes, another one opens. Yeah, exactly. Poorly maintained graveyard. <laughs> 
Uh, we now move on to just a great segment known as Obscene Green. Oh, wow. Totally. Uh, well, no, it's just... Do I have a jingle? No. Obscene. So obscene. Green. Obscene. Green. He's so obscene. It's rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Right, okay. Is so, that your jingle? Uh, <laughs> 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 we, we now move on to Tom Looney. 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 Cheers, lads. Cheers, lads. Okay, so this week. <laughs> <laughs> Really, you're jumping the green back quick. Shout this green beyond mercy. We are busting myths. One green closes busting the door open. Busting myths. Busting myths. Quick fire. Quick fire. Busting myths. It's gonna be. It's gonna be fun. High energy. Oh, are we God. ready? Boring. Hey, are we ready? I want to laugh. Give me the laugh. Ready to bloody vote. What's what's up? I'm putting my foot down here. I wait for at least five minutes. Fuck <laughs> all these. <laughs> What are we doing then? Are we, are we gonna? Have, we could have uh, just a wacky off. Wacky um, off, yeah. I don't, like wanna, I don't wanna have wacky off with this, man. Yeah. Having a laugh. Good luck to you, mate. I've well, not you... even had any potatoes with my granddad. I'm low <laughs> Back on, you do, do you do your thing. No, do I'm you... not doing it. All no, 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 go on, go on. No, go on. No, go on. I like Joe no, to get just... whacked off, but in the mafia sense. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> go on, then. Obscene okay. Green. Have you seen Obscene Green? Last week, you may remember. Obscene. I'm sorry about him. Dana, have you seen? <laughs> have you seen him? <laughs> there he goes. It's obscene green. green. <laughs> can I give detention? <laughs> you can, yeah. I can, yeah. Okay, right. obscene green. Let's do it. Thanks, Paul. So uh, we went through the the day of the podcast release. We're going to go through all the stuff that's happening today in history, which is it. the fourteenth of July. Anyway, 1914, a couple of years have gone past with absolutely bugger all happening on the 14th of July. Little did they know. Mm. But uh, Robert Goddard is granted the first patent for liquid fueled rocket design. Wow. 1914, so the birth of God. rockets. My next question is you take a rocket <laughs> to your ideal planet. What's it like? Oh, fuck me. What's the, the what's ideal like? planet? The, yeah, you can craft any. You look right. on. You look on. You know. Well, Earth has got like the perfect balance for life, hasn't it? So you just so find another Earth. I'd find Earth, but with less people. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe an Earth without Tom Looney in it. <laughs> wow. We'll lose an IMAX. Just flood it with like? IMAX. Yeah. <laughs> or if you land to God, I don't Paul find Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's Tom. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> you could be king. You never know. No. No. I think he'd be put down mercilessly. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Like Jeff Bezos' his son. <laughs> <laughs> All of them just <laughs> fucking going on. <laughs> oh, you're fat, Max. You smell, Max. Fucking form a line, Tom. The whole planet. Yeah. <laughs> they would as well. <laughs> <laughs> God, it <was> fucking hell. <laughs> he's so stinky. Oh, I put on one kilogram this week. <laughs> oh, fucking bore off. <laughs> Okay, so you're going, what's the, your the planet They're looking like? at us, but they're talking about each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my ideal planet. Um, just, just, it would be it would be based on Earth, so, similarly. Yep. Um, yeah, less people. Basically Earth, but without all the pollution and our knowledge now, so we can sort of reverse what we've done. <laughs> Pew! <laughs> <laughs> Tom's pH neutral pollutant free planet's fine. Tom, Tom has arrived. Have a shoot. <laughs> Fucking volcanoes going on. Uh, what about you, Cam? That's the first time I've actually been asked. You know, and I haven't even thought about it. <laughs> what? You gotta go with me for killing Jeff Bezos. Not a question I've got. <laughs> probably. Probably, uh, probably go Uranus just so I can come oh, back yeah. and have oh, one oh. over on. Is it a Sunday already? Stephen and Plows there. It's just a big, uh, it's just a big ball of gas. There's no physical. You can't step on it. Maybe yeah. that's just Uranus. Clip that up, Joe. Now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm here. I've been here for a while. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Spud me, bro. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> oh, said his granddad. Lovely. <laughs> Well, I've got I've got my last one anyway. In uh, 2008, on the 14th of July, The Dark Knight, directed by Christopher Nolan, obviously uh, premieres in New York. So my last question is: uh, You're a superhero or you're a super villain? What's your gimmick? What's your thing? Ooh, uh, a, a trip over after saving the day. Yeah. So I saved the day. Oh, you're a, a hero. Over, yeah. yeah. I thought you'd be a villain. I thought you'd 100 percent rather yeah. be a villain. Yeah. Um, Definitely. It's causing mischief and aggro. No. Yeah. So like, not, the, the not the joke, but like the prankster. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Not quite a villain. 
Yeah. But someone who's, you know, anti heroes. A bit misunderstood. Yeah. That's what I'd yeah, like to be. Anti heroes. Not anti It's me, darling. You go play with your cousins. <laughs> anti heroes here to save there. You know what anti hero is, don't you? <laughs> it's a joke. I play on words. Fucking hell, this guy over here. Jesus. Leave him alone, kids. <laughs> in come in, come in, Max. <laughs> yeah. Anti. Oh. Anti hero. Shit, anti. Oh. Ah, so go on, Max. You're a hero. You're a villain. I don't know. Don't care. Um, be, uh, Thanks for getting involved with this segment. I really appreciate it. I'll just be out for myself. Have you seen him? Oh, we're not finished. I've yet. seen green. <laughs> there he goes. Right, get out, Jack. Right, that get was... out. Out. Put your mask on and get out. That's a man who's not well coming out with stuff like that. Get out. <laughs> get out, Joe. Get grab no, a mask can, and sit in the you foyer. Can, you can sit on the floor behind that chair. <laughs> Or you can get out. So uh, you're, not, you're not answering, Tom? You're going to be a hero, uh, villain? What's your gimmick? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've not... A gimmick? I'd throw yeah. shit at my enemies. Yeah. Throw... So you'd be like a monkey? In a way, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Would you win a fight with a monkey? Who knows? Probably only one way to find out in there. Depends. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, mate. Uh, maybe just uh, not keep my identity identity secret. Just, you know, go on chat shows and stuff. Kind of really embrace it. Yeah. Ozzy Man Dish uh, does that in Watchmen. Yeah. Yeah. Try and, try and monetize it like, properly. Yeah. So would you be a hero or a villain or would you think make everyone think you're a hero but actually doing villain shit? That one. Think make everyone think you're a hero. No, no, I mean, I'll be a hero, I'll be a hero. It's better, innit? Oh, see, he has to say that yeah. for the cameras. Mm, yeah, That's yeah. the thing, I've, you know, up, I've got a reputation, haven't I? Yeah. Sit. Stop playing with your flies. Move the chair if you need to. Make room for yourself. I dress up like a pile of shit that throws monkeys at people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. Because <laughs> yeah. you only smell like you. You would suit. You would suit that. <laughs> if, I, if I close my eyes, I imagine there's a pile of shit next to me. I got monkeys that throw at people. I've got nothing to do with shit. I'm smell great. I just got a big supply of monkeys. That I've just got constant, just constantly coming at me. Yeah, no, you're right, Stephen. You are so right, Stephen. God, an endless supply of monkeys I don't even know where they come from I just have them it's too much man it's too much god it's you work in the zoo and no one suspects exactly yeah I'm a zookeeper the monkeys exactly where's all the monkeys from tomorrow (laughs) (laughs) yeah no you're right thanks Stephen yeah (sighs) no worries We move on from that crazy, crazy uh, guy oh, to oh, another. Totally it's Tom Looney. Hey, Looney. 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 Yeah, so I've got a few this week. <laughs> uh, this week I'm going to be busting some common myths and misconceptions. Oh. It's going to be quick fire. We're going to go through this quick. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Be quick. Chameleons. They don't change colour <laughs> to, to match their surroundings. Yeah, we need to show Joe. Actually, it actually the... depends on their mood. You know, oh, they're just uh, yeah. they're, not, they're often not camouflaged. What? Uh, Great Wall of China can be seen from Sorry, space. Chameleon, chameleons are fashion conscious. What? Is that the first? Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it just depends on their mood. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Great Wall of China can be seen from space. <laughs> <laughs> Astronauts went up there, couldn't see it. Um, lose your body heat fastest through your head. That's not true. You go out with no pants on, you'll be just as cold I as if you're not wearing a hat. Shorts, I'm fine. And I'm, well, you'd say, but I guess it depends on when the temperature. Then your feet. just doesn't. You just don't lose it faster through your head. Wear a hat. Um, peanuts aren't a nut. Uh, there you go. They're a legume. A what? Legume. They're, they're like a pea or a lentil. They come in a little pod underground. They don't grow on a tree. When you, when you oh, go through God. these quick, it's a bit like a penguin bar. One human year is equivalent to seven dog years. Not true. So a chihuahua. Yeah. Would that be? Would that be? Yeah. Is it, well, yeah. I guess obviously these seven days the the, 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 small. the pure breeds, uh, you know, that, that are specifically bred do have a lot of health issues, don't they? Yeah. Mm. So I guess I mean like like pugs, um, pugs, yeah. yeah, pugs, golden retrievers. They don't live that long, do they? Don't they? No, I'm pretty sure they're like eight. Might be wrong. No, uh, I'm not sure. Short. What about Clifford? I don't know. Good question. Yeah. Nimmo, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get some. Massive, isn't he? Uh, giving <laughs> children <laughs> sugar she makes them hyper. Tall and tall. Not true. What about adults? Oh. Not true. Uh, so it's all in the mind. So they they gave um, they did a test where they told parents that they were giving the kids a sugary drink and to monitor the behaviour. And all the parents said, "Yeah, they got really hyper. The drink was sugar free." Uh, it's all in their minds. Oh. Yeah, just makes them happy usually, and they get sweets on like good occasions, like occasions like oh, birthdays. Just a happy kids. Yeah, just happy yeah. kid. So, uh, some kids got sweets. Yeah. I get given warheads. <laughs> Auntie warheads. <laughs> <Cheers>. Auntie warheads. <laughs> uh, dropping a penny from the Empire State Building would kill someone if it landed on them. It's not true. It weighs like a gram. 
Uh, oh, some great ones here. Really good, really good stuff. <laughs> what else have we got? On average, you swallow eight spiders a year in your sleep. I try to get at least no. ten in that. Hey? No, spy- <laughs> they don't. They don't go anywhere near you. Uh, the vibrations scare them away. Oh, you oh God! Yeah. Oh, you're doing in bed. <laughs> not, 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 not interested. Yeah. Me love um, egg scares them off. <laughs> they won't come near you. <laughs> Crank it up to ten. <laughs> don't need Kip in a ball gag anymore. <laughs> Looney. Looney. Gosh. Lunie. 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 No, I'm gone. That is the worst segment. Uh, put it to the max. Put it to the max, yes. Put it to the max. To the max. Put it to the max. Hey, my name is Harry and I'm 15 years old and I'm having some issues. I'm like Max, chubby and funny. Uh, I have a crush on Chunny. this. I have a crush on this girl. I've never spoken to funny. girls ever. And I have a big confidence issue. What should I do? <sighs> So, Max, were you unconfident? I, think yeah. I was in fat school. This. So, I only gained weight after leaving. <laughs> and the pressure of being prom king. <laughs> <laughs> I hit my prime. <laughs> All the yeah. appearances you have to do. I lived like a king. <laughs> <laughs> but one night, one night only. Just went home. Um, <laughs> God. Do you want to play the role of uh, this guy? Yeah. It will be three hot women. Three hot yeah. women. Really hot. Sure. Too hot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Got women laughing already. <laughs> Hello, ladies. I must stop you right there. I've got a stand-up routine just for you three. Lucky you lady. if he can stand up. What? <laughs> what she <you> said? <laughs> <laughs> you. What, what business have you got with us, oh girl? <laughs> have you got 30 monkeys behind you? <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell? So let's not be distracted by the monkeys, you stink of shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're fooling no one. <laughs> you stink of shit, have you got your fiance? Do you oh, good one, one, good one. <laughs> oh, thank you, Riz. <laughs> Chubby and funny. Well, if that's anything to go off, I bet this stand-up's going to be fantastic. Why have you haven't approached a, a woman with a fiance? What are you doing? Oh, you're right. <laughs> no, 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 let's give him a chance. I don't want a chance. Weird, for you. smelly monkey boy. Yeah, you <laughs> skinny fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you don't that want cocktail to... stick come to life. You don't want to like fuck with it. Scientists has brought a cocktail stick. Like, it's alive. It's alive. You're like Franken uh, cocktail stick. Oh, that's great. That. Oh. <laughs> really funny story. Franken Thank you. stick. You could have said. No, I could have said that. No, I didn't <laughs> say that. No, did I? Anyways, oh. Franken oh. cocktail. It's great when you think of something funny after the fact. <laughs> I didn't think of it though. He did. You. I'm excited for this, uh, <laughs> this stand-up oh, routine now. Knock, knock. Oh, uh, don't answer. It. <laughs> like you see, you don't have a thing from, what's it called? A little eye thing through door. Are you talking about people? Being fucking stupid. Pink eye. People. People. I, I love you, people, I love. <laughs> what the fuck? Have you got your taser? <laughs> Me? Cut, yeah. Cut Two people. people. Yeah. <laughs> Firing on all cylinders. <laughs> Not comedy, though. <laughs> fucking cocktail stick wants to do something. <laughs> Get rid of him. <laughs> we didn't answer the question. What's with the monkeys? <laughs> that question from fucking five minutes ago. We moved on from that, love. Yeah, convenient. He's got you a question, hasn't he? I don't know. <laughs> oh, bloody, I'm off. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for the stand up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even pay for a ticket. You got that for free. <laughs> I'm sopping here. <laughs> Who are you? You want to go back to mine? No. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather, I'd rather make myself like a penny on the Empire State Building. <laughs> jump off, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, you should jump off. Well, there you go. Hopefully that helps like an you. Mirror. <laughs> yeah. Recreate what we did there with three lovely ladies and uh, you'll be Swimming. invited back Virgin to there. For life. Yeah. <laughs> it's now time for the final question. It's the final question. Would you rather shit your pants on live TV and mm. get laughed at or have your mum do it instead? I would rather I went through it than me mum. I just wanted to be happy. I don't want that to happen to her. I don't want to brag. I've, I've been on TV. I was yeah. uh, behind Matt Dawson's team on The Question of Sport. Mm. <laughs> I, w- I would quite enjoy watching that back knowing I've just shut myself there. <laughs> See my dad hitting me. <laughs> but everyone's laughing, so everyone's so someone draws attention to tough, it. Though. Tough as all riff off that. Going, yeah. hey, shit pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Um, Sue Barker, though, right. who I did have a thing for, 
probably uh, probably ruin my chances. Mm. Mm. Maybe it made me stand out more. That's yeah. not that bad though. The situation you're describing, it's kind of people have kind of. I'll be different shows. Different you're like people. part of the joke, aren't you? In a way, Max, your one mm. is uh, the chase. <laughs> Ten yeah. seconds left. You need one more question. <laughs> I've shit myself. <laughs> And, yeah. and they ask it but all the feelings and you tell me just hit it because once. you know the answer to the and question it, yeah it's, I'm so excited you've got it it's in the bag it's uh... <laughs> I, I pushed the right button I win I'm given 10 million pounds in hard cold cash so it's when do the chases offer you 10 million <laughs> it's just mad it's mad how many questions it's 25 grand mate it's mad how much grand. questions they, I got right at the most, beginning at most like 8 in the first round where I have to answer the questions to get a thousand pounds for each forget that I do we're, a we're, million look. do I get to go to the Maldives now yeah. Ow. Yeah. So you shit yourself. Everyone's laughing at you. Yeah. And we're, if you answer the question, they won't. You know, Bradley Walsh won't hear it. Yeah, he's too busy laughing. Well, two, it's yeah. all right because you push a button. So I'm fine. Well, well done, you mate. Congrats on your ten million pounds. <laughs> well, what am I on now? The weakest thing. <laughs> uh, you can be on <laughs> court courtroom TV. <laughs> Judge, Judge Rimmer. Rimmer. <laughs> Judge Rimmer. Is it Rimmer? Yeah. Rinder. 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 Judge Rinder. Rimmer. <laughs> <laughs> and a naughty boy. <laughs> oh no, he shit himself. <laughs> They've screened a pilot episode of Judge Rimmer. <laughs> yeah, I've gone, gone Judge Rimmer. And, uh, yes, all part of the gag, people. Oh, well, you would gag as well. Yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. Um, Tom. Yeah. You are. <laughs> oh, no. I'm on a naked attraction, <laughs> and, and all, only the bottom bits come up at the moment. And, and they're chatting about my feet, and just... Just shit. <laughs> <laughs> the worst bit is when you. Walk I think I've got. <laughs> well, I think I've got away with it because there's no way they're gonna go for me. Like, no, name and shame. <laughs> what if? What if you know, she she keeps picking you round after round as more shit. <laughs> What's wrong with you, love? <laughs> It's a concealed yeah, bomb. It's a concealed <laughs> I can't believe, I can't believe. <laughs> the worst bit about this is, if you don't do it, your mum has to. <laughs> I completely forgot about that for all the other scenarios. Okay, absolutely. Well, 100%. I'll be, I'll be shit myself all day long. Oh. <laughs> Talking for a village for comic relief. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what we do here. I have to, in, I have to walk. in this village there is nowhere to go to the toilet. <laughs> not even suffering from dysentery. <laughs> this was me earlier. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Chased away with a broom. <laughs> we only get sick when you come here. There's <laughs> Lenny Henry watching it. <laughs> we have fresh water. Why did you drink from the stream? <laughs> Aren't you off naked attraction? <laughs> anyway. What a laugh, yeah. eh? Uh. Thank you for watching the Stephen Tries podcast. I've been joined by Cameron Brown. Mm. Hey. <laughs> Thanks. Question time would be good. Are you trying to make a serious point? <laughs> <laughs> Shut um, maybe SAS who does wins. Yeah. Maybe make them realise that they are shouting quite loudly at you know yeah. ordinary people. Uh, Max Smith. <laughs> and Tom Looney. Looney. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay safe and ciao.